I can cross surviving a Hulk attack off my list of bucket things I never wanted to experience. Lilith thinks she can control a rage beast by infusing it with demonic energy? She's got some serious game. Enough, Tony. We tried and we failed. Time to admit we might not have all the answers on this one. We needed to act, and that's exactly what I did. Yeah, okay, the plan didn't work out. I'll come up with another. If that doesn't work, I'll try again, and again. Until I win. You win? <sighs> you know what I meant. I know exactly what you meant. Listen to someone other than yourself for once. Stand down, Tony. Not while I can still fix this. Stand down now, before we all go down with you. What do you say, boss? You know that I've got this, right? What do you say, boss? Is Rogers right? Should the star player get benched after one mistake? Or maybe you're smart and you know I can get us across the finish line. It is time for others to take the lead before you do more harm. Oh, I see. Etu, Hunter? Perhaps Wanda has some insight into how Lilith's possession powers work. We're barely mustering a resistance to Lilith and Hydra's normal goons. And now they have our Hulk, and made him a demon. Blade said it was weird that I sleep with my guns. Uh, it's all being prepared. Hunter, are you any good at writing eulogies? I mean, it's not like Robbie's gonna let you write a eulogy for Blaze. Seems like... This is something he's got to work out on his own. But a little backup never hurts. And what are you doing? Me? I'm here to support Robbie. He watched his personal hero sacrifice himself. He shouldn't have to grieve alone. Robbie's reaction is normal, considering what happened. We should all take a moment to grieve in our own way. I usually take a few minutes of silence, which is big for me, considering normally I can't shut up. If Robbie wants to speak, eventually he will find the words. I don't think anyone is expecting Shakespeare, but I do know that if Robbie doesn't get some kind of closure, he's gonna be a mess. Closure? What is that? Yeah, you know, um, closure? Like, after you have a breakup and you insist on making your ex go out for coffee so you can tell them how they made you feel. Do you think that is effective? I've watched hundreds of hours of daytime TV talk shows that say yes. So, as soon as Robbie works this out, we'll be good to go. Robbie will figure out what to do. Eventually. I can't get Blaze out of my head. I don't mean possession or anything. Just everything that happened. Tell me what you were thinking. On the one hand, he was my personal hero. On the other hand, he tried to destroy you. On the other other hand, he sacrificed himself to save me. How do I honor him and still be truthful? It's too many hands. If you are feeling conflicted about the man, honor his spirit. I don't understand. The spirit of vengeance. He carried it in himself for so long. Talk about what having the spirit means to you, and what it meant to him. Find the things that unite you. We both carried a burden for a long time. I only hope I don't turn into an asshole like him. Well, the fact that this is torturing you so much makes me think you will not. If you say so. Whatever you decide to do, do it quickly. I am afraid we are running out of time. You really helped clarify my thinking.
Thank you. I I'll figure something out by morning. Promise. <sighs> this is so hard. Maybe we should just have a memorial barbecue. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Our time to stop Cathan is running short. At this point, I'm willing to try just about anything. So if you have any bright ideas... We should not be sitting here waiting for Cathan to return to our world. We should take the fight to Cathan. Everything we do here is to prevent Cathan from returning to our plane of existence. We don't go to him. That would be suicide. I will fight him wherever I see him, no matter what those books tell you. These books tell me Cathan has been a threat before civilization began, when all that walked the Earth were the Elder Gods. But what else? Surely there is some bit of knowledge we can use. What other things did you learn? I could keep you up all night blathering on about this, so tell me specifically what you are curious about. Who were these Elder Gods? Tell me about them. Siblings brought into existence on this planet by the Demiurge, the source of all life. These beings were named Set, Gaia, Ashtur, and Cathan. They ruled the planet for many millennia, each of them pursuing their own interests, increasingly battling each other for supremacy until finally it became too much. New gods emerged to topple the old gods and remove their influence from our world. Oh, nothing lasts forever, even for gods. Was Cathan always this monstrous evil from the very beginning? There was always something wrong with him, but his insatiable pursuit of chaos magic eventually corrupted him in ways he could never reverse. While Cathan's sibling Gaia sought to nurture life on his planet, Cathan sought to absorb it into himself, to remake all life in his own twisted image. It was because of that evil drive that Cathan was banished to another realm. And there he waits, ready to return when the opportunity presents itself. Like now. Like now. If Cathan returns, what exactly will happen to this world? The world and all life as you know it will cease to exist, but it will not vanish. It will be recast in Cathan's image. We will exist only as extensions of Cathan, and the world will only serve to keep him alive. What a hellish existence. What about the Darkhold? Could it not provide us with secrets of Cathan? The Darkhold is dangerous in its own way. With Cathan locked away in another dimension, this is how he has sought to influence events in our world. It is Cathan's own words laid down in print. We cannot trust it as a reliable aid in our battle. It would be like trying to defeat Ultron using his own memoir. Nothing good will come of it. And the writing is probably awful anyway. 
The prophecy mentions the sleeping giant awakening. If that is Hulk, how important is he to Cthon's goals? I'm not sure, other than his presence complicates our ability to stop Hydra and Lilith's efforts. Something will have to be done about him, or Stark may lose his mind. I do not want to hinder you anymore. Keep reading. Surely there is something we can use. I hope you're right. And I'll keep digging. One more book. Maybe that will have the answer. Lilith's tomb won't be that creepy, right? We should bring flashlights. Mm, guess you overheard our conversation. Some of it. Let's face it, this doomsday scenario might be a little too on the gothy supernatural side for the Avengers. So, it's time for them to move over and let the kids take the reins. The Avengers are clearly out of their depth. Damn straight. Now it's our turn to screw it up. You do not sound too confident. I just don't want to jinx it. So, do you have a plan? You mean a plan to stop Cthon from serving us all up in his all-you-can-eat cosmic flesh buffet? We don't have all the deets nailed down as of yet, but we'll work it out. Till then, keep this under wraps until we know what we're doing. I don't want to freak out the Avengers any more than they already are. Will do. Cool. Catch up later. Hey guys, I know you probably don't want to hear this, but we need to start stepping up. I don't understand. I, I thought the Avengers were supposed to be like the greatest superhero crew on Earth. I thought they would do better than this. You should know this by now, Robbie. Meeting your heroes is always disappointing. <laughs> they were never my heroes. Hey. I know what it's like to feel guilty about the death of a loved one, too. My Uncle Ben. It's my fault he died. Did you kill him? Well, no, but... I could have stopped the guy who did it. Hey, those are beautiful. What are they, some kind of daisy? Something as rare as she was. I'm sure she forgives you. Thanks, Peter. But I kinda wanna be alone right now. Yeah, okay, sorry. Just trying to help. I know, but this is not something you can help with. Maybe. Do you think what Peter said is true? Agatha forgives me for what I did. I know she forgives you. Yeah, right. You can't know that. Well, I do. No, you don't. No one does. She's dead and it's all my fault. It's always my fault. If I had learned to control my powers better, she would be here today. Agatha understood the dangers of taking someone as powerful as you under her wing. She did it anyway, because she had faith in you, and who you are to become. And look what her faith cost her. An early grave. Maybe she saw something in you. Something that was worth the sacrifice. <sighs> That's nice of you to say, but say it to caretaker. I still haven't been able to look her in the eye since I've been back. She hates me. You cannot hide from her forever. You need to figure out how to summon the courage to face her, so the both of you can move on. Yeah, you're right. I owe her that. You owe it to yourself. And Agatha. Agatha would want the two of you to be reconciled. Uh, I know. I just don't know if I can make that happen. Try. For Agatha. Yeah. For Agatha. Yeah. I, uh... Kinda need a few more minutes alone with her. Go on without me. I will take my leave then. Thanks, Hunter.
Hydra mystics are opening a gate. You've got to stop them. There's no telling what might emerge. Mystic out. It's over for you. I'm going in. You know, you're pretty good at this. Another mystic out of the ritual. Almost there. There is nowhere to run. At least you get to take a nap. It's up to me. I'm going for it. Digging deeper, reaching for something to call for. minds yet.
Okay, that was pretty cool. Let this be a lesson to you. Time for Guess I picked the right partner. something forth. You need to stop them. The rift opens! I haven't lost their interest yet. Roger that. I like it! on it. Hey Hunter, uh, I'm gonna be saying some words about Blaze for the team. We're gathering in the cave right now. Come join us.
Hey, um, thanks for coming, everybody. I, I know we're all stretched thin at the moment. We're all here for you, Robbie. We know this is important to you. But we should move things along. I know what you're all thinking. You thought Blaze was a major league asshole. Whoa, I thought Professor Xavier was the mind reader, Logan. Quiet, you. Anyway, Blaze. Yeah, he wasn't nice. But it's not a nice world. And sometimes you gotta be that way to get things done. And he really got a lot of things done. So, you kids remember that. You won't always be so fresh-faced and innocent. <sighs> Thanks, Logan. Uh, you said it better than I ever could. To be honest, I, I really struggled with what I was gonna say. Because I used to worship the flaming ground Blaze rode on. And then I met him. And, safe to say, I didn't worship him so much anymore. Fairly certain, I hated him. Right until he went and sacrificed his life to save mine. Johnny might not have been perfect. But at the end of the day, he was one of us. And I'm glad to have known him. To Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. <sighs> Johnny, Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Is that it? Can we go now? Man, I just wish I could have brought my brother Gabe along. He'd love this place. Listen, if you want, you can call me Eric. But that's between us. I better not hear Stark throwing it around. During my last meditation session, my thoughts turned to you, and I wondered if you had some wisdom to offer. I steered Earth's mightiest heroes through esoteric cataclysm and mystical strife before, but now I see myself dimmed in their eyes. With the loss of the Sanctum, is it possible that I am the last Sorcerer Supreme? All your experience makes you a stable voice in unsettling times. Yes, I held the fate of many in my hands, but the Midnight Suns don't trust me. The Avengers fear I am so fragile that a single misplaced comment would shatter me. Leaders cannot always see the path ahead, and I still follow you. One out of three isn't bad. None of us wields control. We can only swim through chaos, gathering what we can preserve. My ego relished being the sole calm eye in the midst of unholy tempests. Now, perhaps I find all eyes, including my own, look to you. You remind me of the Ancient One. Or perhaps I must learn the same lesson over and over. Pull up a stool, Hunter. Never too early to get caffeinated. Stark convinced me to put a shot of his new Stark Drive energy drink in my coffee. Stark Drive? Sure. It tastes like sweaty gym sock dipped in coffee, but at least it wakes you up. And if we're headed to Transia, I'm gonna need it. This thing could last 24 hours or 24 days. Hard to tell. Transia is a treacherous place, filled with all sorts of forgotten locations. We could be battling Lilith's forces there for a long time. That's what I'm afraid of. A place like Transia is as dangerous as they come. It makes sense that Lilith would go back there. Back to her homeland, that is. Back to the source of her powers. She's gonna be in for a real nasty shock if she's looking for home. It's not like the old days with the Knights of Wundagore riding around the place. 
Red Skull and Hydra did a pretty good job of screwing Transia up in every way possible. No matter what the people of Transia have had to endure, they are about to endure much worse. Poor people. That's why I'm loading up on caffeine. It's gonna be nasty. It looks like the others are gathering now in the war room. Yep, I'll head that way myself. Just need a few more sips of sweaty gym sock. I gotta talk to Stark about getting some new flavors. <laughs>